In the Netflix disaster film Leave the World Behind, the Sanfords and Scots come across a sizable herd of deer while attending to an unexplained issue. When Clay initially spots a few deer, he interprets their presence as a positive sign and a wonderful beginning to his family's weekend getaway in the house they rented out. After the animals surround Ruth Scott, the herd quickly gains the reputation of being a frightening presence on the farm. When Amanda arrives to save Ruth from the herd, she is baffled as to why there are so many deer in the woods. The response to the impending doom the herd of deer can be seen as an indicator of the impending disaster. It is widely believed that animals can sense disasters and hazards. When the man-made calamity starts to unfold, the deer sense the same before the humans and start their migration, likely to a safer place. The house in the adjoining property where the Sanfords arrive to spend their weekend seemingly happened to be located in the middle of the deer's migration route which explains why they repeatedly show up before the residents of the place. When Rose sees hundreds of deer, the country doesn't realize the gravity of the disaster they are going to confront, but the animals do. The eye couldn't take them the herd of deer all in, couldn't find them in the shadows of the trees. Only the people who knew such things knew there were around 36,000 deer in the county. They were not the deer Rose had seen but were on their way to join those. A mass migration, a disaster response, a disaster indicator, a disaster unfolding Ruman Alam's eponymous source novel reads, clarifying why the herbivores group together and appear before the Sanfords and Scots. Unfortunately, Rose fails to comprehend why the animals show up in enormous numbers at the property, to warn her family and the Scots about the disaster that has been unfolding. The absence of the natural order, the violent actions of the deer herd, demonstrate that the natural order that once existed on Earth has permanently vanished in the United States. The Sanfords and Scots see a number of shocking events, but it takes them a time to realize the true nature of the situation in the nation. By the time the animals get panicked and realize that they must find a place to hide, in order to survive a move that naturally goes against their instincts they have already begun searching for means of protection. Along with the deer, a flock of geese also departs making noises as if to announce the impending tragedy, and G.H. leaves to find out more information about the state of emergency. Similarly, the flamingos leave their natural habitat and end up in the pool of G.H.'s house, indicating how the order in the world of fauna completely changes due to the actions of human beings. Alam's novel and Sam Esmail's film rely on these bizarre happenings and sightings, to bring out the strangeness of the apocalypse that has been unfolding in the country. More than explosions and military forces, the extraordinary presence of the deer and flamingos succeeds in enhancing the mystery that revolves around the national calamity and the eventual apocalypse the two families confront. Esmail's film hides the severity of the disaster to increase the tension in the same since the invisible is scarier than what is exposed. The writer-director effectively used the animals as tools to depict the calamity, without exposing what it explicitly is. 